Hi there, and welcome to the Tractus MultiView for NDI tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how the application works, how to set sources in your MultiView instance, how to do some basic PTZ control, how the preset banks work, how to do NDI output, and how to do NDI routing. Let's get started. To get started, you'll want to launch both the MultiView controller app along with the MultiView app. Both of these are installed when you install the Windows version. A Mac version will be forthcoming with the same capabilities. There's a controller app and then the actual MultiView instance. On Windows, go open up your start menu and launch first your MultiView for NDI controller and then launch your MultiView for NDI. Once this is launched, you'll see three windows pop up. One of these is a diagnostic console. You can ignore that. This is the actual MultiViewer itself. And right now we have no sources selected. If you have MultiView instances running on multiple machines, you can use this controller to control multiple machines, MultiView instances. For now, we're just gonna connect to localhost. So my local machine on port 8901. And if I hit connect, I can now control this MultiView instance. So first off, let's set a source. So I'm going to set on the first output window here, I'm going to set the source to be a test pattern. And so we'll receive a frame and now the source is set. By default, we use the proxy sources or the low resolution feeds. I suggest using these low resolution feeds to keep your network traffic down and to improve the performance of the MultiView app. So we're not just limited to test patterns or scan converters. If you have PTZ cameras, we can also use the MultiView app to control those. So I'm going to tune into camera A, it's right next to me. So now that is in the MultiViewer. If you want to control a camera using the MultiView app, activate the main MultiView window click on the source that you want to use and now I can use the keys on the keyboard left and right up and down to control the pan and the tilt and I can use the plus keys and the minus keys to control the zoom level as well you can use the 0 through 9 keys on your keyboard to load presets and then use shift 0 through shift 9 to save presets so for example, I'm going to set a preset here where we're very zoomed in. I will set this as preset one, and then I will zoom back out and I'm going to set that as preset zero. I'm just using shift zero and shift one. So now if I press one, preset one is loaded. And if I use zero, preset zero is loaded. Let's talk about presets on the MultiView itself. So say you want to save this layout as a preset, a set of layouts or a set of sources that are already selected. You have up to 10 preset banks here, zero through nine. Zero is the preset bank that is loaded when the MultiView app starts up. To save a preset bank, hold down the shift key and click on the preset bank in the controller. And to recall a preset bank, just click on that uh, preset bank. So if I click on one, I have no sources loaded here, but if I click on zero, my sources in preset zero get recalled. Next up is NDI output of the MultiView itself and source routing. If you want your MultiView output to be sent out as an NDI source, come into the controller and check off NDI MultiView output. This is now being output as a NDI source on your network. I can come into Studio Monitor, go to my machine name, and tune into the MultiView. So the output of the MultiView is now a source on my network. If you want to use the MultiView to route sources, you can also do that by checking off NDI MultiView Router. So now each of these outputs, if they are set, will show up as a routable source in Studio Monitor or your favorite program. So for example, I can come in here to MultiView One Program, and that is the camera that I've selected. So I'm just doing source routing. We are not capturing packets and then forwarding them on. We are using NDI routing, which involves 
no extra overhead on the instance that is running the multi-view. And that is everything for the new Tractus MultiView for NDI. If you run into any issues, please send us an email at multiviewsupport at tractus.ca. You can find the latest version at multiviewfornd.com. Keep in mind that the trial version is fully featured. It has a time limit of 60 minutes, at which point it will exit. And if you want to check out the documentation, for example, take a look at how the HTTP API works, head over to the docs page, check out HTTP API details. Everything you can do with the controller, you can also do through the HTTP API. That's everything. My name is Elias Perunin. I hope you enjoy the new Tractus MultiView for NDI, and I will see you another time. Cheers.